Hey guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acres Shoe and Marina. Today we're going to talk a little bit about diving physics and what we're going to focus on is how to determine what our absolute atmosphere is at any given depth that we may be diving to. There's several reasons that we need to be able to figure out what that atmospheric or your absolute atmospheric pressure is. Maybe you're trying to figure out what your partial pressure of O2 is if you're diving nitrox. Maybe you're trying to figure out what your maximum operating depth is on nitrox or whatever blend you're uh, trying to use. Maybe you're trying to figure out your surface air consumption rate. And there's a whole other list of reasons that you need to understand how to do this. We're going to show you a couple very simple techniques to figure it out. The first thing that we're going to look at though is we have to remember that when we talk about feet of fresh water and feet of salt water, there is a big difference between the two. When we talk about atmospheric pressure in fresh water, it's going to be measured every 34 feet. In salt water, it's going to be measured every 33 feet. Now, for the purpose of this video, all that we're going to be concerned with is the salt water. We're not going to worry too much about the fresh water for the purpose of this video. But the calculations are, are still done in the same manner. You just got to make sure you use whichever one we're talking about. So, if we look at the atmosphere pressure chart here, we all remember from the open water class, at the surface we're still under one atmosphere of pressure. Every 10 meters, or 33 feet that we go down, we're going to go through a new atmospheric pressure. And each one always adds the surface pressure back to it. So at 33 feet, I'm under one atmosphere plus an atmosphere from the surface, which gives me a total of two, and so forth and so on down the chart. But the problem is, is if I'm not working in 33 increments or 33 foot increments, then it's very difficult sometimes to figure out what your absolute atmosphere pressure is. So for instance, let's say that I'm working with 78 feet of salt water. Okay, that 78 feet of salt water falls somewhere between 66 feet and 99 feet. So I know that I'm going to be at least three atmospheres, but not quite four atmospheres. So I've got a good general idea of where I'm at, what my atmosphere is, but I don't have the absolute. So one way to figure out absolute atmospheres is a simple equation. I'm going to take 78 feet. I'm going to add what an atmosphere is. So one atmosphere is going to be 33 feet. So I'm going to add that together. Then I will divide the entire calculation by the same atmosphere. So if I show you on a calculator here, I'm going to take 78, add my atmosphere to it, which is the atmosphere of the surface. That's going to give me 111. Then I would divide that 111 by my actual atmosphere, or what an atmosphere is, for salt water, and it's going to give me 3.36. So this calculation comes out 3.36, and it's what we call ATA, absolute atmosphere. So 78 feet of salt water is exactly 3.36 atmospheres. 78 falls somewhere between 66 and 99, but I need to know what the decimal is. Well, using this calculation, I can show that 3.36 absolute atmospheres is what 78 feet is. So it's a very simple calculation. Now, the second way to do it, sometimes a little bit easier, is I'm going to do the division part of it first, and then to go back and I'm going to change uh, the atmosphere from my increment of 33 feet to I'm going to keep it in the atmosphere terminology, and I'll add one. So to do that, I'm going to take 78 feet. I would divide it by 33, which is what an atmosphere is. And then at the end, I will add the atmosphere back which should give me the exact same answer. So doing it this method, I'll do 78 divided by 33, which comes up to 2.36. Well, if I add the surface atmosphere back to it, I get 3.36, which is the exact same thing that we just got doing the other calculation. So either method is going to work for you. It's whichever one it's easier for you to understand and to try to memorize. Of course, the calculator makes it a, a big difference, too. You don't have to do your long division. But this is how we come up with absolute atmospheres by doing that simple calculation. 
the main thing to remember is, are we talking about salt water or are we talking about fresh water? If it's salt water, you will use 33 increments. If it's fresh water, you will use 34 increments. So guys, once again, if you're trying to figure out your partial pressure or O2 and nitrogen, maybe your maximum operating depth, maybe you're trying to figure out your uh, surface air consumption rate, maybe you're just trying to figure out how much air it's going to take to lift an object from the bottom to bring it up to the surface. There's many different reasons we need to understand how to find out what our absolute atmospheric pressure is. And using these two simple formulas will help us do that. So as always, guys, make sure to check back each week for new videos. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.